Uh, my name is Chop. I'm from King Abdullah University of Science and uh, Technology. Uh, other authors are from Ant Group, Shandong University, and uh, University of Notre Dame. Uh, in this presentation, I'm going to talk about uh, our work graph laminar with the noise supervision. So, so first we start with the task background and the rate work. Uh, graph alignment is uh, one of the most uh, important and interesting research problems in the graph domain, which attempts to associate the same nodes across graphs. Uh, it has been widely uh, employed to mitigate the challenge data diversity issue in the fields of semantic web and the social network, such as by using the knowledge graph integration and uh, social, social network linking. Uh, a number of uh, supervised and semi-supervised methods uh, proposed for this problem uh, depends on a given set of clean labeled node pairs uh, to learn the association between graphs. However, the involvement of noise is a common and unavoidable problem in the real world data pro uh, no uh, notion process. Uh, 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 a few of uh, unsupervised methods have been designed to extricate uh, from the demand of label data. They extremely rely on the highly discriminative attributes uh, that are usually privacy sensitive, noise polluted, and hard to collect. So uh, we want to explore uh, how to ease the uh, effect of noise operation. Uh, a recent model attempts to train a discrimination model to identify the potential noise in the given uh, labeled node pairs following the min max gain, uh, given the generated noise pairs and the trusted noise pairs. Uh, however, there are key issues that remain unsolved. The noise acquisition strategy is based on the idea of negative sampling. Due to the sensitivity of noise acquisition to the sampling distribution, the negative sampling-based discriminator would lead to an inaccurate decision boundary. Uh, here is an example. Um, notes, notes in different colors indicate the embedding of nodes in different graphs. Uh, the pair P1 and P2 are trusted uh, positive labeled node pairs and has been aligned. P3 and P6 are sampled noise pairs for P1 and P2 respectively, and the P4 and P5 P7 are in the set of untrustful uh, labeled pairs. The, um, the pair P4 and P5 are true positive pairs that should, uh, that should be uh, aligned, and the P7 is a uh, noise node pairs that should be identified and not be aligned. Mm -hmm. uh, fin uh, finger B shows the discrimination of positive and noise samples in the embedding space of node pairs. And the ground truth decision boundary uh, at this green line show, uh, should separate the noise pair P7 from other uh, positive pairs but the boundary is altered by the negative samples P3 and P6. The result decision boundary, just like this uh, red line, uh, encroaches into the space dominated by the positive samples, including P1 and P2. Then the true positive pair P4 and P5 uh, would be misclassified as noise. So the uh, negative sampling issue can lead to the uh, inaccuracy, inaccurate decision boundary. Meanwhile, uh, we want to separate the positive and the noise in the untrustful labeled data and use the part, positive part to enhance the alignment model to read more uh, nodes. However, uh, it's very hard uh, to find a fixed threshold to separate them because the setting of the fixed threshold is a dilemma. 
a two a two small threshold would inevitably introduce uh, noise into the alignment model at the early stage of training. A two large threshold in, in, uh, disables the model to obtain sufficient useful uh, positive data to improve the alignment, alignment performance. Mm. Then uh, next we define the problem, we then discuss the uh, uh, proposed method. So uh, uh, given two distinct graphs that need to be aligned and the uh, node association matrix A, uh, which identifies whether the node pairs is aligned, we can assume that there is this uh, set of trusted positive label node pairs uh, y plus whose uh, indication is set as uh, one. And uh, we also assume that uh, there exists a set of untrustful label node pairs y minus uh, whose uh, indication is set as two. For all other unlabeled pairs, they form the set u whose indication uh, is set as zero. So the uh, graph element problem is to identify a set of unlabeled node pairs and change the association uh, indication from zero to one. Uh, we, uh, then we discuss the proposed method. Uh, this, mo uh, this model consists of uh, four parts. The basic graph alignment model can uh, encode the input graphs and align the trusted uh, node pairs. Then the non-sampling discrimination model with class prior, prior estimation can use the learned uh, representation to separate the true uh, positive and the noise pairs in the trust uh, in the untrust untrustful node pairs. Then then the, uh, the cur cur curriculum positive data selection can progressively uh, select the, the potential positive nodes uh, from the untrustful untrust node pairs to augment the alignment model and the discrimination model. Uh, I will discuss each of them in, in, in detail uh, one by one. So the first one is uh, basic graph alignment model, which uh, includes uh, a graph neural network based encoder and uh, graph alignment uh, loss. The, uh, uh, the uh, graph neural network based encoder is to learn the representation of uh, nodes in graphs. And uh, the graph alignment loss is to minimize the distance between the uh, uh, between the trusted node pair, between the nodes in the trusted node pairs, uh, yt, uh, yt is, uh, um, is a positive, the trusted positive node pairs, and uh, n is a, a set of negative samples, and uh, fe is an energy function to measure the distance between, uh, between the reputations of node i and node j. Then the second is non-sampling discrimination model. We want to avoid applying negative sampling in the, in the noise discrimination model. So we use to, we want to use the unlabeled node pairs to design this discrimination model, which is based on the positive unlabeled learning. Uh, we suppose that uh, the unlabeled data you uh, is composed of the positive pairs u plus and uh, the negative pairs u minus. The marginal density of u is uh, pux. The pi is a positive class prior. In positive unlabeled learning, pi is unknown and has to be estimated from the data. Um, to classify uh, u plus and u minus in u with a binary class fair d, uh, that can learn the distribution of uh, the unlabeled data U. We need to uh, minimize its uh, expected misclassification rate, LR. Since uh, the separation of U plus and uh, U minus is unknown, 
uh, and uh, uh, and uh, PU plus uh, confirms to the distribution of uh, the given uh, the given trusted trusted node pairs uh, P Y plus. So we replace this P P Y plus with P P U plus, and we change uh, this misclassification rate uh, as well. Mm, we take the non-negative risk uh, estimator following a recent work to overcome the overfitting. Uh, next, we uh, we uh, we want to uh, estimate the positive class prior uh, that is a proportion of true positive nodes pair in the unlabeled data. Uh, we suppose that the representation of the unlabeled node pairs confirms to a Gauss mixture distribution, which includes two components, one of the positive node pairs from the trusted node pairs and the, uh, the positive part in the unlabeled data, and the other of the negative node pairs from the negative parts uh, of unlabeled data. Mm. We uh, want to estimate the posterior uh, distribution on the uh, on uh, on, uh, on the parameter that is a set of parameter describing the distribution or uh, representation of node pairs from both trusted and uh, unlabeled data, so that we can assign the value uh, five one or five two for. Uh, for the class prior, we use a variational inference to up, 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 approximate the posterior distribution. So we can get the, uh, then we can get the uh, the exact loss through a uh, uh, sampling. Last, we can estimate the class prior pi following this uh, formulas. We did note that the common components i. Of Gaussian, uh, Gaussian mixture distribution contains more positive samples since uh, the components I with more uh, positive samples can be uh, regarded as uh, regarded as uh, the marginal density of uh, of positive part in the unlabeled data. So it's natural to select uh, um, phi I as a class prior. Sorry, you yeah. have two minutes. Okay. Two you. minutes left. Okay. Uh, so uh, th uh, then uh, we want to select the potential uh, positive node pairs from the untrustful labeled node pairs to augment the uh, trusted positive labeled no node pairs. It's always easy to pick out the plausible positive samples in the beginning and then get uh, harder and harder to pick out more plausible positive samples. Uh, so we design a curriculum positive selection strategy to augment the trusted node pairs with the train going on. We introduce a parameter way to weigh each node pairs in the untrustful node pair to indicate if a uh, node pair should be selected as a potential positive data. Um, uh, this is uh, the loss function. FR is a FR is a pacing function and the LSP is a, a scoring function. The optimum, uh, the global optimum can be reached with, uh, uh, with, with this solution. So then for the experiment part, uh, we use five cross lingual knowledge graph data set from the DBP15K and the DW1100K uh, to simulate the noise involved scenario. We have to inject the noise into the data set for our experiments. So for the clean uh, training data, we first use 30% uh, of training site as a trusted end pairs and randomly replace 14% end pairs from uh, training data with corrupted end pairs as a noise data. So we can get 70% uh, of training set as a noise involved end pairs. Uh, uh, sorry, we are we are out of time, so I must ask you to conclude uh, very quickly. Uh, okay, okay. So uh, this is an uh, uh, experimental result, and the conclusion is uh, we propose a robust uh, graph alignment model to compare uh, 
uh, noise in the given label data, and we design the non sampling uh, discrimination discrimination model using post uh, PU learning and uh, uh, propose to select the potential possible data by curriculum learning. Mm, that's all. Thank you for listening. Any questions? So thank you from my side as well. Any question? I have one question, which is uh, suppose you compare against uh, the um, um, respect to the, um, sorry, we, you compare against the state of the art method, but for noiseless examples, yes. how much, so what do you pay? How much slower is your algorithm either in, in theory or so as running time upper bounds or in practice? What is the price of noise? Uh, actually, is a, um, the time complexity is, uh, uh, depends on the number of nodes and age. Uh, the training, uh, uh, the complexity of training, uh, of training our model pair iteration is almost linear. So it's linear with uh, the number of nodes and age. So I think it uh, can indicate the efficiency of the efficiency yeah, yeah, yeah. of our efficient. model. I see. Okay, so you can't do much better even if you had no no noise, I guess, because yeah, I suppose you have to read at least the graphs. So mm -hmm. thank you. Yeah. Thank you thank again. You.